Welcome to the teaching of the Word of God. I'm so glad that you spend time with me in this teaching. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 12, For the Word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and of joys and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. My dear brother and sister, please receive the Word of God by faith. Let the Word of God sink into your heart and build faith inside you and put the Word of God into practice. See you in the teaching. God bless you. I am so glad that we can spend time together in reading the scriptures, the promises of God. You know, I'm fully persuaded and believe that our God, the God of heaven and earth, the Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is our Savior, is the faithful God. And I'm so thankful that He has given us so many promises in the Bible. And what we need to do is to read His promises, believe, put in our heart, and connect the promises of God by faith. And we claim it, we speak it, and we obey what He say. And I believe as we do our part in receiving the promises in the Bible, and also believe them, believe in the faithfulness of God, and practicing what He say, we can see the manifestation of the fulfillment of the promise of God, because God is faithful. His promises are yes and amen. Let's start by reading Proverbs chapter 3, verses 1 to 2. My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart. You see, God tells us that we should really pay attention to the Word of God, listening to the teaching of the Holy Spirit, the teaching that God leads you to listen, that go along with the Bible, not the false teaching, but the biblical teaching. And keep my commands in your heart, which means that we need to store the Word of God in our heart and practice what we learn. We should not be just a hearer of the Word, but we should be doer of the Word. For they will prolong your life many years and bring you prosperity. This is a promise of God. Let us pray together that the Lord will give us power and grace that we can be very hungry for the Word Pay attention to the teaching, and we want to learn all kinds of teaching in the Bible about family, about parenting, about marriage, about the life of service, about how to walk by faith, how to follow the Holy Spirit, how to serve Him, all kinds of teaching. And we need to read the Bible, and we need to receive the voice of the Holy Spirit, and we put them in our heart and practice them. we gonna believe together and pray to God that we will not die young, we will not die soon, we will not get into the deadly accident, we will not get into a fatal disease, and the devil cannot kill, steal, and destroy our life because we take serious about the Word of God and His commandments. Let's pray together. Father, thank you so much, Lord, for giving us the promise in Proverbs chapter 3 here, Lord. We promise you and we depend on the power of the Holy Spirit and the grace of God that we can have hunger for the Word and we will learn from you by the teaching of the Holy Spirit, our great teacher. And we're going to pay attention to the good preaching, teaching and the Bible and the voice of the Holy Spirit, the witness in our heart. And we're going to obey your commands. We will do what you say You tell us to do something, such as, Father, you tell us to love our neighbors, we're going to love them. We're not going to hate anybody. You tell us to give tithe faithfully, we're going to tithe. You tell us to love your church and get involved in building the church, we're going to build the church. And Father, as we obey you, we forgive people, we do the right thing in your eyes, we believe you shall prolong our life for many years and you shall bring prosperity to us, Lord. We thank you so much, Lord. We receive your prosperity, prosperity of the physical body, prosperity of the mind, of the feeling, prosperity of our job, 
prosperity of finances, prosperity of relationship and family. Lord, and I declare and believe that no one who is listening in this teaching and put the Word of God into practice will die too early, die too young, but they're going to live a long, healthy life in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let me read another promise in the Bible talking about the fear of God, being humble, and trust the Lord. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 8, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. You see, God wants us to humble ourselves instead of depending on our knowledge and understanding and ability. We should be led by the Spirit. We should trust the Lord and let the Lord lead us and help us. Verse 6 says, In all your ways, acknowledge Him. In other words, we get God involved with us. We acknowledge Him in everything we do. When I perform surgery, I acknowledge Him. And He tells me what to do. He guides me. He leads me. I depend on the leading of the Holy Spirit. And He will make your paths straight. In other words, you're going to be successful. He's going to help you to finish your job and get the job done and see the result because you get Him involved and you are led by the Holy Spirit. Do not be wise in your own eyes. In other words, be humble. Realize that you don't know everything. Fear the Lord. Fear the Lord means hate sin and love righteousness and chant evil. If you practice all of these things in verse 5, verse 6 and 7, verse 8, the promise of God. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. My brother and sister, let us pray together that the Lord is going to teach us how to be led by the Holy Spirit. The Lord will give us the spirit of the fear of God in our heart. And we will not lean on our own understanding. We are going to be humble to depend on Him. And the Lord will give us good health and nourishment to our body, to our liver, our lungs and brains, eyes, ears, and stomach and every part of our body. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much, Lord, that you give us the promise in Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 18, Lord. We promise you, Lord, by the power and the grace of the Spirit, we can be led by the Spirit every day. We're going to get you involved in everything in our life. We will acknowledge you. We will not do things on our own. We promise you to be humble and to walk in the fear of God. And we promise you we're going to hate sin and love righteousness. And we will avoid any evil things in our life. We will obey you, love you, trust you, and please you. And we claim your promise, Lord, that all of us right now who are listening to this scripture reading and praying, we will be in good health. Our body will be healthy and strong and you shall give life to your, our body. The power of resurrection that come from the Holy Spirit will give life to our mortal body. Father, we declare we all going to live a long, healthy life and we will practice what we see in Proverbs chapter 3 here on the daily and regular basis. In Jesus' name, Amen. The Bible say in the book of Proverbs, again, I would like to read Proverbs chapter 4, talking about the Word of God is like medicine. Proverbs chapter 4, 20 to 22. My son, give attention to my words. The Word of God can come two way, through the scripture, the Bible, or through the Holy Spirit. And the Word of God can come through preaching, teaching, or our brand new sister can teach us the Word, so we listen, you pay attention to the Word of God incline your ear to my saying so we pay attention and listen open our spiritual ear to get the word of god in do not let them depart from your eyes keep them in the midst of your heart in other words we really take serious of the word of god many days ago god spoke to me when you move to america you really pay attention and the command of your boss at university of washington because he hired you he gave you the job. I really took serious of what my boss told me. Now, we have the biggest boss in heaven. 
we're going to take serious about what He said to us and keep what He said in our heart. And what is the benefit? What is the promise of God here? For they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. In other words, when we take serious about the Word, put the Word in our heart, practice the Word, honor the Word, and we follow the Word, which is the Lamb of our life. We're going to be healed. It's going to be like life to our body, and it will bring healing to our flesh. Let us pray together and ask the Lord to help us to be faithful in reading the Scriptures, in listening to the good teaching, putting the Word of God into practice. And we're going to see the healing, the life and divine health in our body. Father, we claim your promise and we will obey what you say here in Proverbs chapter 4. We will pay attention to what you say either from the Holy Spirit or from the Bible or from any anointed teaching and we're going to put them into practice and we incline our ears to what you say. We keep them in the midst of our eyes and in our hearts. We will not let them depart from our life. And Father, we believe that when we do that, your word is like medicine. It will heal our body. And if my brother and sister right now are sick, I speak that, I declare, and I command sickness have to leave that body right now by the power of your word and the power of the Holy Spirit, the power of the blood of Jesus Christ and by the stripe of Jesus Christ. They are healed and they will be healthy and live a long life. We believe and we receive your faithful promise, Lord, and we believe it shall come to pass in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Proverbs chapter 9, verses 10 to 11. The fear of the Lord is the foundation of wisdom. Knowledge of the Holy One results in good judgment. My dear brother and sister, not only that we love the Word, but we should have the fear of God in our heart. What is the fear of God? The fear of God means to stand in awe before Him and also to hate sin and love righteousness. Before I became a Christian, when I watch some worldly movie, I really go along with them and follow the way of the world. But now I become a Christian and I love the Lord, I fear the Lord. And I notice when I see some bad practice in the worldly movie, I really feel not good inside me because I hate that sin that they practice in the movie. So this is what we talk about. We fear the Lord, we hate sin, we love righteousness. And as we approach Him by the fear of God, He's going to give us wisdom and knowledge so that we can know Him more. And the Word of God promises that when we have the fear of God and walk by the wisdom of God, what can happen? Wisdom will multiply your days and add years to your life. Therefore, I would like to encourage all of you to really get serious about reading the Bible, receiving the Word of God, the teaching and the commands of the Lord. Have the fear of God in your heart. Do what He says. And you're going to have wisdom in making decisions in your job, in your traveling, in your ministry, in your family, in your parenting, in your marriage. Everything God will give you wisdom. He will lead you to be the right place at the right time with the wisdom of God. And He will give you warning so that we will not be at the wrong place at the wrong time and get killed, you see? And He promised that our days will multiply and years will be added to our life. Let's pray. Father, may Your Holy Spirit really cleanse our heart. May the fire of God come in to get rid of the stubbornness, the love of sin, the love of the world, the pride of life, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and help us to walk in the reverent fear toward you. Lord, may the Holy Spirit, the fire of God, give us the fear of God that we will please you all the days of our life. And we believe, Father, 
You shall give us wisdom as we walk in the fear of God, and you shall multiply our days. We claim we, the promise. We believe that we all gonna live a long life. You shall add years to our life, Lord. We claim your promise, and we believe it shall come to pass. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let us pray to thank God together. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your promise. We thank you, Lord, for your fulfillment and the manifestation of the promise of God in our life, Father. Father, we believe that your word is wonderful. Your word will not return void. Your word will prosper, and it will accomplish what it promises, Lord. Father. Lord, we love Your Word, and we received Your Word today from the Book of Proverbs together, and we believe, Father, that Your promises shall be fulfilled. And we thank You. We love You. We promise You, Lord, that we're going to serve You, live our life for You, and glorify Your name all the days of our life, Father. We thank You so much, and we want to say, God, You're wonderful. You are loving. You're forgiving. You're gracious. You're merciful. And Lord, even though one day we're gonna leave this world to be with you in heaven, but before that we're gonna live a long life here in good health, and we're gonna serve you and build your kingdom, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you so much for spending time with me in reading all these promises in the scriptures and praying with me. Please pray for me. And we'll keep praying for you, and let us see the fulfillment of God's promises, and we give God the glory. And people who see our life, they will say, "Wow, God is so wonderful. He is alive, and He's full of grace and mercy." Amen. Please listen to the first four or five session before this one, and continue to listen to this series, and please listen to other teachings. That New Hope International Church have produced many, many series. Please take serious about knowing the Word of God and practicing the Word of God. God bless you. I and Pastor Dar love you, and God loved you so much. And we stand in faith for you that God shall use you, bless you, and bless your next generation to the thousand generation in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for listening to this teaching. I believe that you learn so many things from heaven, and you are the doer of the word of God. The Bible promises that when we walk by faith, this will happen in Psalm chapter 118, verse 17. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. I believe that you shall live a long life. You shall have victory. You walk by faith. You obey the word of God, and the Lord will bless you, and you experience. The powerful breakthroughs and healing and great things of God, and you can declare the works of the Lord. God bless you. I hope to see you in another teaching. God poured. His fire on the day of Pentecost, and He still opened heaven to pour out His fire in our generation. May the fire of the Lord burn on the inside of you. Brings revival into your life. Send you out to preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. May He use you to be a carrier of the fire of revival. May the Lord anoint you. May the fire of God burn every day on the inside of you. And the Lord will be glorified through you. May the grace of God work in your life. And you become fruitful, and you will have many rewards in heaven. May the Lord get the glory through your life.